Okay, I'm Rebecca Kelly. I, I am the coordinator here at the Interfaith Food Cupboard of Abington. And Abington is a suburb of Philadelphia, quite a wealthy suburb in fact, yet we still have um, about 125 families that come requesting emergency for food aid every month. That is about double what it was when I started in 2002. We had about 62 families per month coming then, and the demand has just grown so much. Um, we started out in a, a closet, and now we have these shelves in this classroom at the Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, where we are housed. We've been here since 1970. Well, raising the minimum wage will have a direct impact on our clients. Um, we serve working families. Um, the people that come here often are in low wage jobs. They may be a head of household. They may have numerous children that they have to feed. And it's just really hard to make ends meet, to make the rent, um, all the utility bills. Um, often there are people that need medicine um, or other health care needs. And so $7.25 an hour is not a living wage. And so places like the food cupboard are here to help. But if the minimum wage were raised to at least $10 an hour, I think that would have a, a direct impact on individuals, absolutely. Well, if the poorest among us are um, given a little bit more uh, of a wage, those dollars stay in our community. So the local businesses actually benefit from that. Um, if people have a few extra dollars, they're going to go to that extra movie or go to the pizza parlor. But more importantly, people can buy their own groceries at the grocery store. And they'll have a choice of, of what they want. They'll buy fresher food, which in turn will help keep them out of the hospital and out of doctor's offices. Um, and having that choice is going to also help them feel better and more independent. Um, it will also help people to get into their own apartments. I see a lot of families that are living together, maybe the grandmother, um, grandchildren, um, mother, father, brothers, cousins, all living together because they can't afford to move out on their own. So um, that would have a direct effect as well.